Hey everyone, Dr. Larson here. Um, I have an interesting case for you guys today. Um, this is Emily, and uh, she's she actually saw me quite a number of years ago. She actually worked in my office for a little while, uh, recently having some troubles, and wants a second opinion. So what she came in with was anxiety, nervousness, stress, uh, body aches, exhaustion, headaches, and some dietary things as well, as, uh, along with food sensitivities. So I did the exam, and what I found is probably going to surprise you guys because it has to do with the belly button piercing. So the first thing I want to do is just test here so you can see some of the things that were um, weak on her. And then we're going to pause the camera. She's going to take out the uh, belly button piercing. And then we're going to go back and recheck. So I'm laying your back. All right, so push out to the side right here. So that's a gluteus medius muscle, and she is actually pushing there. She's trying her hardest. It's a muscle out here. Push out here. I mean, it's very, very weak. Push out. That one's weak. This is a tensor fascia lata muscle right in this region. Push up and out. And again, it's very, very weak. Push up and out. Very weak. We're going to get to the quadriceps. Keep that straight. Push up. And that one's like, it's like no one is there at all. I'm completely weak. Let's see if you guys can see the uh, neck. So I'm going to take and test her neck. Push up. Very, very weak as well. So this is not a good position to be in if you get in a car accident. Because you have no neck stability right here. So she does have a belly button piercing that we discovered. Now she has... The body aches, exhaustion, headaches, been diagnosed with a candida, adrenal fatigue, and this is affecting those organs as well. So I'm going to do some applied kinesiology type testing on her, and if she holds her arm here, she's nice and solid. But as soon as we put pressure over the liver area, it becomes completely non-existent. Um, same thing over the kidney area, pull back here, completely weak is what happens to her. And then if we go over by the large intestine, completely weak as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause the camera. She's going to take the belly button piercing out, and then we're going to recheck. All right, we're back, and this is the culprit right here. We'll zoom in on that. Oop, there we go. You can see that's our little guy. It's metal, some type of piercing. So we're going to go back and recheck some of the muscles. So the gluteus medius, again, push out, and it just engages. She is rock solid strong. Push out here, and rock solid as well. The tensor fascia lata, rock solid. Tensor fascia lata, rock solid. Keep this straight and push up. That one, uh, the quadriceps, rock solid. Again, we'll check the neck, the ever, the ever important neck. Turn, push up. And I think you guys can see that with the camera. I'm not really sure, but very, very strong neck now. So now she can withstand a car accident if, unfortunately, if she had that. Keep this straight, pull back. So if I push over the liver, very, very strong. Lots of muscle tone here. Uh, we did the large intestine, very, very strong. Kidney area, very, very strong. So. I wanted to film this because it just goes to show, get down the camera, it just goes to show you don't always know where things are coming from. You have to look at the body holistically all over the place and we're going to see now, this is her first visit with me, we're going to see the next week or two uh, what else needs to be done, but the first thing that she has to do is get rid of this piercing which she's had for somewhere around um, seven, eight, nine years or so, we're not really you know, totally sure, but around nine years. But in that time frame, it's weakening the body more and more and more until it starts not being able to function the way it's supposed to. And this is not the first time I've seen this. Most belly button piercings cause trouble, whether it's knee pain, back pain, whatever it might be. Uh, she's been having some left-sided pain as well. And sometimes it, it kind of goes to one side. Uh, knee pain, back pain tongue piercings, all of these things. Anything on the midline for sure causes issues. Um, earrings down in the, you know, in the normal spot don't usually cause as much issue, it, issues. 
but if you pierce up on the upper part, sometimes those can as well. So I uh, hope you liked the video, and we'll talk to you again later.